everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, there's no doubt that Russia meddled in our elections. And even though, as far as we know, none of the investigations have found the smoking gun that ties Trump to it, we know that the Trump campaign was involved. The lies, the cover-ups, and Trump's foreign policy towards Russia is ample evidence of that. But what is striking is how easy it was for them to pull it off. Credit where it's due. The Russians did a good job. But what they did a good job of was exploiting our weaknesses. And though they focused, for the most part, on our right, they did not ignore the left. Part of their deal was to get the, the right to move more to the right and the left to move more to the left. Because polarization, that's what they were capitalizing on. And they saw us much better than we do. And we saw, they saw that polarization and how it could be exploited. They saw the growth of racism and xenophobia. They saw our susceptibility to conspiracy theories. They saw our skepticism of the truth. They saw how gullible we are, how easy it is to spread a lie. They saw how lazy we are. That's what makes us easy to lie to, because we're too lazy to find the truth. We're too lazy to get the facts. We're too lazy to learn about the issues. We criticize our politicians for not communicating their positions well enough, for not talking enough about the issues. But when they actually try to do that, we tune them out. We only pay attention to insults, snark fests, and scandals, real or imagined. What the Russians did to us is something we've been doing to ourselves for years. All they had to do was take a quick tour of the internet, talk radio and cable news, and it's all on display. Yes, the Russians pretended to be Americans, put up fake websites, spread lies and disinformation, and exploited the Clinton email scandal. But there were plenty of Americans doing the exact same thing. It was Jim Comey who revived the email scandal, not Vladimir Putin. And there were plenty of Americans spreading lies that the Russians put out on the web. Even if the Russians had done nothing, there are plenty of Americans who would have been doing exactly what the Russians were doing. And unless we take a good hard look at ourselves and see ourselves for what we are, our enemies will continue to hold the upper hand. Yes, Russia will be back, but they'll be joined by a lot of other countries who are not very fond of us, and terrorist groups. And they'll all be appealing to the same thing, our ignorance, our fears, and our hatred. Thanks for listening.